Hey guys, John here with tips on design, marketing, and strategy. And today I want to talk about hover states. When you hover over things on websites, uh, the best way to do it. And that's because I was bringing my kids to the Lincoln Park Zoo. So I was on the website and I saw this. When you hovered over these different sections, they get this kind of green wash over them. And this is not good. And I've seen this a lot, and I think it's because people don't really understand what hover states are or how to use them. So hover states. Hover states are designed to indicate interactivity, that you can interact with a thing over which you are hovering in some way. And normally it's just clicking. So it could be a photo or a card or some text, and it's saying, hey, you can click on me and something is going to happen. And once again, most of the time, it's that you are going to go to another page. So then the question is, what's the best way to do this, to indicate interactivity? Well, you should do this by increasing its visual hierarchy. The increasing its visual hierarchy in just the normal ways that you increase visual hierarchy in designs in general. So that is, you could increase its color. So maybe it's a desaturated color and you make it more saturated. Maybe it was in black or white and you change it to a color. Uh, you could make it bigger. If it's type, you could increase its weight. You could move it a little, move it to the left or to the right. But the idea is that you want to increase the hierarchy. And the reason is that what hover state is, is that it exists between one state and another state. So that's super abstract. But think about it this way. You have one page, let's say you're on the home page, and it's a company who's selling cosmetics. And then there's a product page, and, uh, and you can hover over text for that product. And when you click on it, it brings you to your second state, which is that page. Now, the hovering is like you're 50% of the way there. You're almost there. You're almost to that page. When you're hovering, it's bringing you closer. That, that's the experience of the hover state. You're 50% of the way there. So if that's true, then you want to visually indicate closer proximity to that page and you do that by increasing its hierarchy bringing you closer there so let's go back to this page and think about this when you hover over these different pages these different sections you're getting this green wash over it which is not increasing but decreasing the hierarchy of what's in that that photo so here this uh this animal right here or the polar bear in the, in, the, in the first photo. Ways that you could increase the hierarchy is, say, you could uh, make the circles bigger, you could bring the text lower, because you're saying, hey, if you're hovering over the polar bear, you're, you want to you indicate to the user that if you just click, you're already hovered over, but if you just click, you can see more of this animal or animals like it, Right. So you, you want any action that you take with a hover state, you want it to bring the user closer to that reality, not further away. Now, you may be thinking, hey, when I, I wasn't thinking about this when I was hovering over. And, and that's true. But often what happens is that you might not intellectually know it, but you will feel it when you interact with it. So you'll see that there's something different and it might just not feel right. And that's because, you know, we understand things that we can't explicate through our bodies and our actions sometimes. So that's a hover state. I hope it's helpful to you. And uh, thanks so much.